What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial to the connection how to create a landscape, school on it, and also apply materials with different layers on it. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into file and create a new level. In this case, I'm gonna just choose basic, say create, and I'm gonna just remove this floor. So in order to create a landscape, what we have to do is go up here into the selection mode and enter in the landscape mode. And you can see that we have a preview on the size of our landscape and also a few more settings over here. The first option will be if we want to create a new blank landscape or import a file. In this case, a file will be a high map. So for example, an image will be basically black and white and it will determine the height. So you could do things outside of Unreal. In this case, I'm not gonna be covering this. If you want, I can make a tutorial on it. Let's go back to create a new landscape. The first option is that if we want to edit in layers, basically, for example, if you want to have your mountains in a separate la layer than your rivers or base landscape in general, this can be very useful. Then we can apply a material, but don't worry about this. We can apply laser as uh, later on. And also we can change the location, rotation, and overall the size. So for example, I could go into the section size and basically, you know, decrease it or increase it. So you can play with those settings as also the resolution, etc. or directly just press fill weld and it will just fill the weld. So you can really play that uh, into your needs. So with that said, we can just hit create and it will start creating the landscape. And in some moments, we should see that we go. Uh, that we have our landscape created there we go and we can just move around of course right now there's nothing it's very boring so as you can see now we have a new tab which is the sculpt tab and the first tool over here is use sculpt so basically i can just go here and start uh, holding left mouse button so left clicking and I, you can see that i will be starting to create some mounting and we have different options here for example the brush size we want to make it bigger the tool strength on how harsh it will be or maybe i want to be just lower only a bit you can play with that and also the fall off basically you can see i'm changing the inside area so to make it smoother around the edges or not now if i hold shift while left clicking as you can see i do the opposite remove the terrain so you can play with those settings in order to get what you want now let's go into the next tool which is the race and this is pretty much the cool but basically automatically holding shift <laughs> so it will automatically just remove so we can play with those as you want i normally just go in scope and then hold shift for me it's easier but you do as you do then we have the smooth basically if we have any harsh edges it will basically just overall smooth them as you can see so basically you can play that also to get what you want and again you can play with the brush size to strength and so on then we have the flatten tool basically it will get the starting point so for example if now i have my cursor over here in this specific height and i start to left click and drag it it will basically create terrain totally flat on that specific point that i selected in that height if i were to do the the thing the same thing here but in a lower part of the terrain it would do it but lower in the terrain so it's basically if you want to have an extremely flat landscape from a specific point okay so you can play with that then we'll have the ramp which will contest uh, consist of a spline so for example i can place my first point of the ramp here and the second point over here and now i can just bring the second point up and just click this button to add the ramp and boom there we go it will automatically add a ramp and this is very useful so you can really play with those as you want then we'll have erosion and hydro these ones are very similar basically they will just you know simulate that time has passed and yeah, rain has been occurring and so on and yeah it will just kind of it, it, it's a it's a type of smooth but really with noise and so on i would i would say and more in actual real physical approach you know and then we have different options over here different other tools that we can use but as a beginner i don't recommend really playing with those you don't need to know them right now now, for example, I'm just gonna mention this one, which is the blueprint. And basically, if you're gonna be making procedural generation with the landmass plugin, which is actually very, very easy, 
this will be a tool that you would use. And I actually have a tutorial on it. And honestly, it's very, very easy to use. So I will be linking it in the description just in case you want to get started with Brazil landscape. I know it sounds crazy, scary, but it is actually very easy to use with that plugin. Anyway, so as you can see now, if I just were to go here and just press play, I will be with my player you know, playing around the landscape and all the collisions and everything will just work. Great. So as you can see, you can start to create your world from here. Now we have another part over here, which is the paint. And of course, in here we can paint our textures into our landscape. Now, right now, I cannot paint anything because there's no material assigned. This is the default one. So what we can do is go back into the selection mode, select our landscape. And now if we go down over here, you see this landscape material section. So for example, as I have my started content over here, I can just go and search for the grass material and apply. And if we wait two seconds, there we go. You can see now we have grass in our terrain and it looks pretty cool. Of course, it's just the texture. We don't have right now the actual, you know, uh, grass models or whatever, but you get the idea. And uh, if you want to get this exact material, you can just go into add and then say uh, add feature or content pack and go into content and add the story content pack if you want to do so. Now, imagine that you want to now have different layers. Basically, you want to have, you know, be able to paint sand over here or paint rock in the edges. So what we can do is convert this into a layer based material and add multiple layers. So we can just go ahead and search this material over here. And what I'm going to do is just Ctrl D to duplicate this. And let me just call this grass too. It doesn't really matter. This is just a showcase. Now let me go ahead and drag it to assign it into my current landscape. And now let me open this material. So as you can see, it's a bit complex. If you're a beginner, it will have, you know, the base color, normal maps, micro uh, texture variation and so on. But don't worry about that. Literally, just go into the base color, which is just the basically the image of the texture, how it actually looks. OK, and what to do is search for this node, which is the layer. Uh, what is it? What is it? And see, oh, yeah, we have to don't uh, don't drag any node. Just click it here. Just search for layer and we'll see this landscape layer blend. Basically, this node will allow us to add layers so we can add our first layer, expand this. And this will be our default one, which in this case will be just grass. Okay, so this, the first layer will always be the one that is just appears in the whole landscape of once. And now, for example, let me have another layer of I don't know, just rock. It doesn't really matter. Yes, I'm just showcasing this. So right now, as this is the base color for the grass, I can just hold control and put this in the grass layer. Just connect this into the base color. And then for the rock, what I'm going to do is just copy this texture. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, plug it here, and then change the texture to be into a rock, for example. It doesn't really matter. Let's just plug it here. Right now, of course, we are not having in mind the other properties as the normal maps and roughness and so on. But we just changed the base color just to showcase. And I know that this is a bit more advanced, but right now, basically, we're just splitting our material into two. It will have the ability to just paint grass or rock. So I can just go and hit apply and then save. And now I can go into my landscape and boom, it is pitch black. And you're probably wondering what just happened. Well, let's now go back into the landscape mode. And now you see that in paint, nothing will appear. And this is basically is because it didn't update correctly. So what we can do is just um, disconnected, connected, Touch a bit of this, so maybe put, I don't know, like, yeah. whatever, just press apply again, go back into landscape, go into paint, or just paint here, or, I don't know, just do something, it, it, it normally, normally this kind of bugs, okay? There we go, uh, make sure to save it, as you can see, you just touch stuff, I don't know. Anyway, right now, as you can see, two layers have appeared, so we have the grass layer and rock layer, but the thing is that there's no property over here assigned. So what we can do is just click this plus button to add a weight blended layer yeah, in, in, uh, instead of property um, I'm a layer. So we just apply this one, which is just default one. OK, and you just put it, for example, here, save it. And now in a few seconds, you'll see that the whole landscape will appear to have grass if it loads. <laughs> and then we can do the same with rock. 
and we go there we go so now we have grass again perfect but now the thing is that i can go and also create a layer for rock and you will see that it will not instantly update or whatever but now i can select my rock texture or material or layer how you want to call it and now start painting with that one and of course the first time will sound kind of low as shade this but now i can start painting my rock texture and of course it looks extremely bad because well i don't have any tiling over whatever basically it's just you know <laughs> it's just a texture i don't have any modifications going on so it would look extremely ugly but you get the idea and that's how you can start so if you want to see more advanced on landscape layers i can make more tutorials on that too so you know leave me in the comments basically so that's it guys, if you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. The prior files will be available in my patrons, uh, Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.